So I decided to make a series about some of the different supplies that I have. And I'm going to start with the Student Pilot's Flight Manual by William K. Kirshner. This is like um, your textbook that you'll use when you're becoming a pilot. It contains a lot of information you need to know about becoming a pilot. And it has a syllabus for a student and his instructor to for a lesson plan. So the different chapters in it are parts. We have part one, which is um, we have starting to fly, talking about just flying, the airplane and how it flies, lift and drag. Then it explains the cockpit instrument system, the pre-flight check, starting the airplane, taxiing, pre-takeoff check. And then part two is pre-solo, effects of the controls, the four fundamentals, elementary precision maneuvers, elementary emergency landings, stalls and slow flight, takeoffs and landings, Part three, post-solo maneuvers, advanced stalls, emergency flying reference instruments, and so on. We have some more. Part four, cross-country night flying. Part five is the knowledge and practical or flight tests. And that is the test that um, makes sure that you're ready to get your pilot's license. And then part six is the syllabus. And then there's some different appendixes, um, a chart supplement, excerpts, notes on engines and other systems, sectional chart. So it also has some different illustrations in it to illustrate, to help you understand what they're talking about. And then at the end it has a, a few quizzes, I think. A quiz about the engine. And then it has some um, uh, it has a, let's see, it has this, which is from a sectional chart. This is um, just something they have there, so you can look at that. And this book also has some um, humor in it. Which is this illustration here, which is, um, it says, your instructor will discuss your errors in a forced landing. And it has a student crashing his plane into a swamp. And then it also talks about a student pilot who, because he didn't do his checklist properly, accidentally took off without wings. Uh, one thing that I found interesting is uh, it doesn't have normal page numbers. For example, this one, that page is 1211. That's not the 1211th page, of course. Um, that is the 11th page of chapter 12. So I'm not sure exactly how many pages this has because it's not um, numbered in that way. So this is 1323 further in the book. It might be 24, 16. Like that, it's interesting. So in the back of the book we have so recommended reading, aviation weather, aviation weather services, airman certification standards, and then the FAR AIM, which is Federal Aviation Regulations, and Aeronautical Information Manual. I'm going to do a video on that book too. So that's my review of the Student Pilot Flight Manual by William K. Kirshner and his son William C. Kirshner. It's published by Aviation Supplies and Academics, and that's all for now, so see you next time.